So believe it or not, in order to understand how all those texts work, all you need to know is how climbing works. So let's go over that real quick. You guys are all probably familiar with climbing with some degree. It's one of the most basic movement texts in Apex. So let's just demonstrate it here. I climb up the wall, and then I can try and keep climbing, but it's going to throw me off at some point. And actually, I can't climb above that point, even if I cheat and use, like, no clip or something. Let me just demonstrate that. Right? It throws me off. I can even go try and go up higher. I fall back down, and I start climbing once I'm below that height, and I can climb back up. But I still can't go past it. It's going to throw me off again. So now, let's see what happens if I try it from up here on top of these. So now I'm starting up higher. So, I can climb up here, right? And it eventually will throw me off because I hit the maximum climb height. Same as down there. But what happens if I fall off and then I try and climb back up? You can see I fell pretty much to the ground. And when I climbed back up, it stopped me in the same spot that it stopped me when I started down here. With my feet just below that line. In case you're not convinced, I can do it with, I can cheat with no clip. I can get close to the ground, and then I'm going to start to climb. And you see, even though I had plenty of distance, I had plenty of ability to climb, it still stopped me at that line. So even though I started up there, I still could only climb as high as if I started down here. So the reason both of these get the same maximum climb height is because our lowest point is the same. That's the thing they have in common. By starting on the ground and going up, my lowest point is on the ground. By starting from up here and falling down to the ground, again, my lowest point is on the ground. <laughs> this is what determines the upper limit of how high you can climb. You'll never be able to climb further than this distance above your lowest height. The second factor is our lowest climb height. If I demonstrate, that's my lowest climb height now, and I can't climb above that. So combining these factors, our maximum climb height is either a certain distance above our lowest point or it's our lowest climb height, whichever one happens to be lower. The last piece of the puzzle is the wall bounce. As I've covered in previous videos, what determines whether or not you get height off a wall bounce is where you are on the wall. The additional detail here though is that it's relative to your maximum climb height. You have to be a very particular distance below that. So as we were talking about before, in the simple case where I'm just climbing, it's my first climb, there aren't any other climbs, and my maximum climb height is here, then the wall bounce area is here. And this is just as you're used to. It's the same situation that you're used to with slide wall bounces, maybe if you're into fatigue bounces, it's the same thing. Now that we have ways to manipulate this maximum climb height, we can actually also manipulate the area where we can wall bounce from. So now let's think about what happens if we have two climbs and we want to wall bounce on the second one. What we can do is we can start a climb here, right? So we're starting from here. We jump off. Our max climb height is up here. Our wall bounce area is down here. We start climbing, we stop climbing. Now, we've changed our maximum wall bounce, or our maximum climb height, to be from up here to down here. And that means that now our wall bounce height is down here somewhere. So what we can actually do is we can fall and then immediately wall bounce. And that's how all those techs work. There's actually another tech here that I want to go over real quick that's kind of related to explain uh, mantling. Um, 
Mankiling interacts a little bit special with uh, climbing. If you exit a climb directly into a mantle, then that climb will not affect your maximum climb height. Normally, you wouldn't be able to climb above it, but if you enter directly into a climb, then you can climb above it. No problem. And we can actually use that to do a tech that I like to call wall walking. Oops, I messed up. So here, I'm just wall running, and then I cancel the mantle, and then I go directly into another wall. Run. So all I'm doing is I cancel the mantle, I hold D, and then I press W to start, then I tap W in order to mantle again. And that's wall walking. That's a little bonus tech. 